Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yay. I'm Dr. Robin. This is Russ. Together we've created the Whole Food Muscle Club and written the book How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way in an effort to help 100,000 people improve their health in the next five years. Right. Russ is trying to see if he can find us. We're actually in the r, &R journey, not on the Whole Food Muscle, which is why you can't find us. Oh. <laughs> He's in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. Um, on Fridays, we pop on and we do our weekend review. Um, I obviously am a little more dress, dressed up than I usually am. Um, I didn't go to the gym today because we are headed to South Jersey to do a TV interview. So I stayed home to try and do something to tame my hair. But this week, we talked about um, a talk that we heard from Dr. Barnard. On um, we, talk, we heard him speak on Thursday a week ago and then Saturday a week ago tomorrow. Um, and he talked about um, diabetes, and he talked to medical professionals about how they need to do better about uh, teaching people about lifestyle and about eating this way. One thing he said about diabetes that was interesting, somebody asked the question, can I eat too much fruit? Is that possible? And he said no, that fruit is perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's showing me nothing. Unbelievable. So talk. About what? Stop fussing with that. Okay. Really? You're going to say about what? That's what you're going to go with? Anyway, so yes, we will be doing that uh, interview today, which is We're very We're talking exciting. about Dr. Bernard. So, I mean, yes, it was a uh, good talk. We saw him twice in two days, so three days. Um, and the, the thing I got out of it, which was most intriguing to me, is the difference between how he talked to doctors and how he talked to uh, lay people. Um, basically the same presentation, with the exception of one or two slides. Um, but he just, pre he just presented it in a different way, which was interesting. Yeah, it was very interesting. Um, he, he talked about how meat consumption has gone up so much, how cheese consumption has gone up astronomically uh, in the United States. And he reinforced again that you can eat unlimited grains, beans, fruits, and vegetables, that that is not a problem, that you can absolutely eat uh, as much of that stuff as you want and it's not going to be an issue. I know there are a lot of lay people in, in groups on Facebook who say, oh, I can't do that. Dr. Barnard says you can't. Yeah, can't's a very favorite word of a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. He said... Can't and I don't like. Right, I don't like. I don't like vegetables. That's one we hear a lot of. Um, he said that chicken, white meat, no skin is still 23% fat, which surprised me. I did not realize, I knew that chicken, even white meat, had fat in it, obviously, and there's cholesterol in it, but I didn't realize that it was almost a quarter fat. Yeah, I mean... That's kind of scary. When you think about the way they, uh, and I, you know, I'd be interested, interested to know what the, what the fat content of chicken was 50 years ago. You know, it might have been higher because it tasted better. Maybe, but it also may have been lower because now they plump them up and make them get so heavy so fast. So fast, yeah. And fat's the best, is the easiest way to do that. It's probably true, yeah. Um, he said that he also shared that um, pasta has a lower glycemic index than bread does because pasta is compacted, whereas bread is airy and fluffy. So uh, he said if you're going to choose between bread and pasta, choose pasta, even white pasta. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, um, whole wheat pasta is better, but he said white pasta is better than bread. Right. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. And mm -hmm. the whole process of being a compressed so it doesn't, the sugar is not broken apart very fast. Yep. And he talked about how um, having cells full of fat turns down your metabolism and makes you fatter. So once you are overweight, your body is then um, predisposed to get more overweight, which I think is super yes. frustrating, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, beans and greens equal calcium. And he said that it's important to remind people that when you start eating healthier, your need for medications, particularly di uh, diabetes medications and blood pressure medications, can change very drastically. So make sure that you let your doctor know that you're going to eat this way. Okay. You also made another interesting point um, that I don't know if people really consider, but if you are overweight or obese, that type 2 diabetes, whatever the case may be, and you go on this type of lifestyle and you... You make yourself healthy again. You know, you know, you know, to the point where you don't need all those medica medications. You can just as easily become diabetic again. It's not like once you've cured yourself, you can then go back to eating with the way you were eating before because you cured yourself. No, it's diabetes is a diet related. created yes. uh, disease, and so if you go back to your old diet, you're going to get your old disease. That's mm -hmm. just the reality of it. So uh, it was really interesting to see him live. Well, he he was a, an interesting speaker. We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Um, on Tuesday, no, on Wednesday, we talked about blueberries and why we eat blueberries every day. Talked about the antioxidants in them, 
how you can eat them fresh, frozen, or cooked. It doesn't matter. You should absolutely eat them. And, you know, you, we, we do. Um, and, oh, I should point out, we don't have breakfast this morning because we are headed to New Jersey. So we're not going to, to do this TV show. So we're not making breakfast before we go. We'll just have to eat later. Fortunately, that's okay. We'll be fine. We're used to fasting, so it's not a big deal. Um, blueberries protect against cognitive decline. But one thing that's super important to know about blueberries is that if you ingest them with dairy, so if you put them you know, in a smoothie with dairy milk, or if you add them to yogurt, or if you eat them with cheese, or put them in your cereal, um, the dairy blocks the benefits of the blueberry. So it doesn't accomplish anything. So don't eat your blueberry. We don't suggest you eat dairy anyway, right. but definitely if you're eating blueberries for your health, don't yeah. eat them with dairy. And again, yogurt's not a health food. Cottage cheese is not a health food. It's still dairy. It's still mm -hmm. going to give you all the problems you're going to get from dairy. As a matter of fact, it's going to give you more because it's concentrated. Right. So it's even yeah. going to give you more than just, just standard milk. So. Regular, yeah. So yeah. it's just, dairy's not a health food. Um, and eat your blueberries separately from it, obviously. And then yesterday we had a really good conversation about protein and working out and the whole idea of you know, why protein is so bodybuilders and people who work out are so obsessed with protein. And basically what you to we told you was you don't have to worry about it. You don't need a pre-workout. You don't need a post-workout. You, a, a, you never need a protein shot. It's not something your body needs. If you just eat real food, um, you're going to get plenty of protein. Right. And it's not something your body can use. It's not like you give yourself a shot of protein and your body goes, oh, muscle built. You know? Yeah, that's and not what happens. It doesn't work that way. Your body breaks everything down and uses it as it needs it. Or turns it into fat or washes it out of right. the body or whatever. And that's a good point. So if you're taking an excess protein before or after a workout, you might be actually just creating fat. Because something. your body has to do something with it. Um, so you definitely your body runs on carbs. That's what you're going to you're going to want to you know have. And um, that's going to help you build muscle. Build it's muscle. Gonna, better say, workout. Help you build muscle. Help you have a good workout. So yeah. just make sure eat whole food. That's the whole that's point. That's the whole point. Um, and if you if you saw yesterday, I posted an article um, where um, someone coming into the di uh, the leader of the dietitians committee of, of yeah. the United States said that you should never eliminate a food group. And he talked about a super high pro halter processed food being a food group. And that makes me sad right. because ultra processed food is not food. And when I'm, I'm talking about cakes, cookies, chips, Oreos, all, I don't care if it's labeled vegan or not. That's not really food. So when I say eat food, that's not what I'm talking about. Right. That's not food. And it's not a food group, regardless no. of what this individual wants to promote because he's got somebody you know paying his political campaigns or whatever the heck is going on. Now. Yeah. And he, uh, they, they also said that in America, 60% of our calorie intake comes from these ultra processed foods. And the unfortunate thing with that is there's no nutrition in them because mm -hmm. in ultra processed foods, they take out the, uh, they take out the nutrients. Oh, comments decided comments to show up. In. So Heather said, uh, Heather says hi. Friday. Carol says hi. It's nice to see you. Miss the beginning, but I'll, I'll watch it. Thank you for being here. Deborah. Deborah hey, good morning. Doing, Deborah? It's very, it's cloudy there. It's actually yeah. super sunny here. Yeah, it is. And Carol, oops, I hit end too soon. soon. <laughs> Thanks, it's good to see you. Oh, thank you. This is what I'm going to wear uh, for the TV interview today. So I, hopefully it, it looks good on the TV interview. Yeah. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with my hair because we're supposed to do a cooking thing, so I'm probably going to have to pull it back. But um, anyway, sorry, got sidetracked by <laughs> comments. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, uh, the okay. article I also I, I posted yesterday talked about how 60% of calories in the United States come from ultra processed food that don't have any nutrition in them because they're removed because nutrition right. rots. And what that means is people are have too many calories but are still malnourished. So when I say eat real food, I mean actual food, like as you would recognize it from the store, right. plants. Right. And, and I mean, and the reason why people become obese and overweight is because they keep needing nutrients. So they, their body keeps telling them, I'm hungry, eat something. And they eat stuff. That has no nutrients. So the body goes through the process and says, okay, well, that was great. Now give me something I can use. Right. And so it's just a vicious cycle. The article was talking about, and it's, it's here on the r, r Journey page, the article I posted. It was talking about how eating ultra-processed foods leads to obesity. And well, yeah, because you keep eating more and more stuff. Right, exactly. I think so, you have a comment. Yeah. Oh, I got to scroll down. Mer Melissa, hey, good morning. Good morning. Melissa. Thank you, you too. So yeah, we're gonna get our gather our stuff together. I'm gonna actually make on this TV show today. Apparently, I'm gonna be making Asian quinoa because they asked me to bring something to show, like do a cooking demonstration. So I don't know how I got into cooking demonstrations, but apparently I do them now. So 
I'll be doing that on this TV show. And when we have the link for it, of course, we'll share it so you guys can see it as well. Anything else you want to add? I think that's it for today. All right. Make sure you tell other people about us so that we can make a difference. Like, share, all that good stuff. Get the book. And, oh, I posted the link up there in the description box so that you can uh, download our Whole Food Muscle Starter Kit at wholefoodmuscle.com. All right. All right. Let's get about our day. Okay. So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, Have guys. a good one. We'll see you on Monday. Monday.